Hey, we're here with Adrian. How's it going? Good, good. We're, good. And we're here to talk a little bit about his uh, study abroad experience. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. Where Thank you, you for having me, Michael. Oh, no, no. Uh, since my uh, college experience, uh, I'm, I'm now a senior. Uh, my first uh, study abroad experience was uh, in the summer of 06. Uh, I went to Lyon, France. Uh, I, I remember that I walked into the study abroad office and uh, met Christian and uh, Dr. Paul Huntsberger. I was still kind of evaluating where I wanted to go, and uh, they were they were very helpful uh, in, in the decision process. And eventually, I ended up going to Lyon, France. How did you pick France? Did you just kind of like spin a globe, or did you always want to go there? Or how did it work out? Well, it worked out pretty good. There's a professor, uh, Dr. Boji, uh, and his wife, Dr. Grace Ann Rosile, uh, who teach two management courses there. Uh, so it was very convenient for me uh, to go get take the management uh, courses over in Lyon, France, uh, and the credit transferred very easily uh, to New Mexico State. So it was very convenient. I preferred taking them in Lyon as opposed to here in Las Cruces. <laughs> I'm going to see in France. Right? Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> so what was uh, what was your experience like when you got there? Did you stay in a dorm or you know homestay or how did that work out? Well, I was kind of the lab rat. Uh, I was the first one to go uh, over to Lyon, France, and uh, I. I think that I was supposed to have uh, a housing there at the university, but I actually stayed uh, in a little hostel, uh, which was a great opportunity to meet uh, a bunch of other international students, uh, not only from Europe, uh, but Latin America, uh, Asia, uh, from all over the world. Uh, so you have friends all over the place now. It was a very good experience, and, and I still keep in touch with them. So where else have you been besides France? You've been uh, over to China, right? I, I had so much fun uh, in Lyon. One semester later, I went back to the study abroad office. Uh, I spoke to the staff there and said, I got to get out of here for another semester. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I, I spent a semester in Shijiazhuang, China, uh, which is three hours away uh, from Beijing. So it's in the north part. Uh, it's in the north part of China. Um, I had a great tour guide there. I needed a tour guide in Shijiazhuang because uh, I, I didn't know one word of Chinese uh, when I got off the plane, so my tour guide was very helpful. How's your Chinese now? Is it getting better? Luckily, I still live uh, with that uh, my tour guide. He uh, really? he ended up coming over to New Mexico State, so now it's my turn to be his tour guide. Oh, awesome! And fortunately, I still get to study my Chinese with him. Uh, so, what was China like? How was the food? How's it compared to, to food back here? <laughs> well, I don't think you can even compare it. No. I think that's the biggest thing. Uh, that people panic about when they go to a foreign country is, well, can I tolerate the food? And I think that uh, that the Chinese food is about as opposite as you can get uh, from American food. Yeah. The, the benefit, though, is they, the Chinese people are so hospitable. They treat uh, foreigners uh, they, the best. The, if you're a foreigner traveling to, uh, to China, the Chinese people are very hospitable and they will always help you uh, with everything. So they'll give you the best of what they got, the best food. Uh, so treat you very well. well. So what were the two universities that you went to? The one in, in France and the one in China? In France it was uh, Lyon 3 University, which is uh, Lyon 3. Um, like I said, I took two uh, management courses there. The first one was uh, it was a management 309 course that we're required to take here at the university. But we learned about the socioeconomic approach to management, um, which is, a, I guess it's a French system of management. And uh, I got two, I got six credits uh, for that class. Yeah. And in China? In China, I took it was all the language, culture, uh, and history classes. So it was just a complete immersion uh, for about four months, and uh, and it came very uh, in handy because, uh, consequently, because of that class, I was able to travel to other places uh, and throughout China and see a bunch of the history there. So. So all your, all, your, all your credits came back and, and no problems with that at all went toward your major? Yeah, absolutely no problem. Um, I think that's one of the unique things uh, here at New Mexico State uh, and especially the study abroad office. Uh, it's, it, they don't uh, treat it just as a job. It's something that they're actually very passionate about. Uh, they really care about the students and they take that extra step uh, to really make sure that the student knows what to expect when traveling abroad. So now that you get the, the travel bug in you a little bit, you think you're anywhere else after this? You know, uh, I'm going to graduate in May. Um, I wish that uh, that I was going to be a student forever so that I can keep these uh, study abroad experiences. I do look forward to going back to France uh, and China again. I always encourage uh, students that I run into, um, ever since I got back from Shijiazhuang, China, 
to do these student exchanges. It's, it's by far the best experience uh, that I've ever had uh, in New Mexico State. I can say that uh, without a shadow of a doubt. And, and I always encourage students, it doesn't matter where they go, whether they go to Australia, uh, South America, Europe, uh, any place is a good experience. It's a very uh, open your mind up to a whole new world. Well, thanks a lot, Adrian. Appreciate it. Thank you very Take much, care. Michael. Yeah. See you.